Welcome back to the Vintage Sewing Machine Garage, everyone. Uh, making another video for an attachment. Um, my inventory of machines is quite low for some reason, so I uh, wanted to get this video made while I still had my, uh, this is the Singer 201, uh, the one with the gorgeous black lacquer you can see your reflection in. This is the one that I will be debuting soon. Um, anyway, this is the Singer Blind Stitch Attachment <clears throat> number 160616. Some of you may have seen these before. They are very similar to uh, zigzag attachments, and they're kind of a cousin of them because, uh, but unlike a zigzag attachment, which does zigzag uh, throughout its operation, the blind stitch creates a straight stitch and then an intermittent zigzag, thus creating um, the blind stitch is used for hemming quite a lot. Those of you who are garment sewers or people who do alterations will definitely know that. Uh, anyway, I thought I would demonstrate it for you. And as, as is true with all, uh, a lot of these attachments, there's an arm here that's going to clasp onto the hub or the shaft of the needle clamp. And you can see it just to the left. I think you can see it just to the left of the needle, uh, of the uh, thumb screw for the needle. So I'm gonna come in at sort of an 11 o'clock uh, angle, just, just like I did with the zigzagger I made a video on. And <clears throat> you're gonna see that the, the shank, there's a big thick shank on the blind stitch attachment, will come in at about 11 o'clock angle on the left side of the presser bar. And be sure that that little arm is lined up. You don't want it too high or too low, it's gonna, you're not going to be able to detach this, but if you do this simultaneously, it's not that difficult. It comes right on. Uh, now, some attachments use the standard thumb screw that you would use for your uh, straight stitch foot, which is the standard foot for the uh, Singer Tool One. But there is also a thumb screw. It has it's a very large, fairly large one, similar to those you see on the Singer buttonholers. It has a knurled end, so you can get a good grip on it, and um, that, of course, you will use uh, to attach the, as soon as I get it lined up with the presser bar hole, um, you will use this to attach it to the presser bar, because <clears throat> it's taken the place of your sewing foot temporarily. And I have got some, uh, this is just some lightweight cotton, I folded it over several times, and I'm going to uh, set this up. Now, one of the things I have noticed uh, because I'm not a sewer and I, you know, I'm not familiar with, uh, I don't have a lot of sewing time on these accessories. One of the things, you may not either, um, but one of the things I've noticed is the directions. You want to read the directions because they, they specifically say you want to sew at a slower speed when you're doing this. The reason for this is if you, if you, if you sew too quickly and if you, or if you start moving the fabric too much with your hands, you will interrupt the, the device's ability to move the fabric sideways, and of course that's how it does what it does. So let's take a look. I'm, this is a, I've got a new pedal on this singer, and I'm looking forward to seeing how she goes. And so far so good. And I'm just gonna very slowly try to keep my fabric in line, and sewing slowly, you don't have to go fast. But also, give it time to do its thing. Now, you might look at this and think, well, gosh, you know, if you have a built-in uh, blind stitch or zigzagger, what's the big deal? Well, before those features came out in the 50s and 60s, you didn't have that option, and you would have to do blind stitching by hand, and there's nothing wrong with that, but it's a lot more time consuming. And any kind of overcast stitching you wanted to do or zigzagging, you had to do it with hand and needle. So, you can see here, this uh, particular attachment has taken the, uh, it has created a straight stitch with an intermittent zigzag, and that of course creates the, um, the blind stitch. And, and you can see the other side. Um, and this is, again, this, this is kind of a wonderful little piece of history. Some people collect these. Uh, some people like to use them on their vintage machines. And, you know, it's all relative. You might say, well, if it was built in, I wouldn't have to take the accessory off and put it back on. Uh, I don't know if you guys noticed, but on the zigzagger that I did a video earlier, uh, 
you actually have the option of doing a straight or a zigzag on it. So let's say you were switching from one to the other. You didn't have to keep taking this off and then putting the straight stitch foot back on. So there's a little swing lever I showed in the other video. And I may have neglected to mention that that actually is for how you turn off the zigzag and just keep it straight stitch. And again, you think, well, why do I need that? That's because you may have been going back and forth between the two stitch styles, and that's a nice convenience. So there you have it, guys. Those are uh, some of the attachments. Can't remember if I've done a video on the um, buttonholer. I have to go back and look. If I did, it was a long time ago. But I thought I would do this. Like I say, I'm, I'm running low on machines at the moment, so I want to take advantage of it before this 201 gets sold. And again, I'm going to take it off the same, the same way I kind of put it on, 11 o'clock. You want to turn it. Always make sure that this arm is lined up. You want it, because it can be lower or higher, you want it right where whatever level your, uh, your needle clamp hub is, where the thumb screw is, and that'll make this a lot easier. In fact, it didn't take me any time at all to put it on and off. Thanks for watching, everyone. Uh, feel free to leave your comments down below and let us know what you think about these attachments and what has your experience been on uh, using them. Do you like them? Do you find them just like a little curiosity? Uh, you know, something that was innovative a long time ago, you know, can seem rather um, more, more, um, more of a slow thing to use today. But back in the day, these were, these were a big deal because they did save people time, literally saved them time. So thank you for watching, uh, add your comments, and we will see you in the next video.